Hello, this is a video to demonstrate how to trigger an intelligent agent if a student has not accessed a certain area of your course. Okay, so this video does assume that you have watched the first video I posted, which has been added as a card or a link to this video. So we're assuming that you have some familiarity with intelligent agents. So this is just basically a next steps video. So I've gone into my course and I'm going to take a quick look at the class list here. And in this demo, I only have one student by the name of student one and uh, last name Warren. Okay, so I want to see, I'm going to run an intelligent agent to see if this student has accessed an area of the course inside of content. And the area that I'm interested in for this video is the course culminating project. So maybe towards the last month of the course, I want to get a little update on students who have not accessed this area of the course. OK, so I've got to do some additional things in my intelligent agent to make this work. And I uh, just want to show you how that could work. OK, so I'm going to go back to course admin and intelligent agents. All right. And in the earlier video, I uh, demonstrated how uh, this course access one would work. And we know that that one is still running because uh, it doesn't have any symbols right here. I have two other intelligent agents here that have little X's next to them to show that those aren't working. OK, so now I'm going to make a new intelligent agent. So I'll click new agent. I'm going to give this a name and I'm going to call this final ISU access. OK. And for my own, um, I guess, organization, I want to uh, mention what this does. So I'll say this agent runs to check to see who has access to final evaluation module. Okay, so I want to get some uh, updates on, on folks who have not accessed that. Um, Again, I'm not as a teacher, I'm not going to rely on this intelligent agent to sort of do my job for me here with uh, keeping uh, up to date with my students. But this is just a tool to sort of help me out a bit. OK, so I'm going to click agent is enabled and under scheduling, I want this to run uh, every day. OK, so I want to know uh, each day which uh, students are doing this. So I'll, click, I'll have it run uh, every one day and I'll have it run uh, just before class starts. So let's pretend I have a class at 10 a.m. So I'll have this run at 9.30. And the schedule dates. Now, I might want to actually have a schedule date here. Maybe I don't want this intelligent agent running for the entire course. I, I certainly would not expect a student to be looking at the uh, final project early on in the course. So I could just basically select some dates that are maybe falling within the last month of the course. OK, so I can have this run towards uh, just just the end of the course, but I'm not going to do that in this situation. And for the criteria, I don't want this to run on uh, teachers and principals and so on. So I want only students to be checked. OK, and I'm not going to use these options right here. I've done that in a different intelligent agent, but this is the one I'm really interested in. This is the release conditions. OK, so uh, I want to. Uh, set this up so that it checks for that um, if, if a student has accessed that course module. Okay, so I'm going to go down to content and I'm going to say not visited content topic. Okay, so that's how I'm going to set this one up. So what's going to happen is this intelligent agent will get uh, triggered if a student has not visited the content topic. Okay. I could do it the opposite way if I want, but I'm more interested to know who, who has them in going. So I'm going to click select topic and I'm going to check that unit. Uh, let's see here. Scroll down to the bottom. Course culminating project. And I'm going to select uh, the, uh, the content for that. OK, so I'm going to click create here. And I'm going to take this action every time. The agent is evaluated. So I'm going to get an email every single time, um, every day, if a student has not accessed it. So I may get an email every single day about the same student. If I select this first box, it's only going to give me an email about that uh, student once, and then it'll never tell me again. But I do want to be kind of told every day a student hasn't been there. Okay. And I do want an email to be sent in this situation. 
and to also it to myself. Again, uh, you can send this stuff to uh, attend, send these alerts to an outside email address, uh, but I, I wouldn't suggest doing that. But uh, this is uh, some information about students, and uh, you definitely want to make sure that you're getting that just to yourself so that it can be vetted or, uh, uh, or filtered uh, for the right person to see it. So keep that in mind, okay? And for subject, I'm going to use re, uh, play strings again. So I'm going to put here uh, the initiating user first name. So that's the first name of the student. Okay. I like to paste those in there because I really can't type this out very good. Initiating user last name. So I want a first and last name. The student has not access the final project module. Okay. And I could put a, uh, a message in there if I want. Please follow up with the student. So this is more of a reminder for me and uh, it'll just basically let me know. So I'm going to hit save here. And we're going to go back and take a little look at our, uh, our um, settings before we move on. So I've got a name, I've got a description. I uh, don't need a category today, but if I had too many of these uh, set up in my course, I might want to set up categories to organize those. I want this to run every day, every one day at 9.30 a.m. Uh, I'm not going to give it a start or end date right now, but I could. Um, Based off of what I'm doing here, it wouldn't be a horrible idea if I was setting this up earlier in the course to uh, maybe start to run in the last month, month and a half. And I want this to only check students. I don't care if a principal added to the course or if an EA added to the course has accessed or not. All I really care about are students. And I'm going to, the release condition I set up is that has not visited a content topic. In this case, it's actually called content because it's inside the uh, final portfolio module and everything else looks good there it's going to go to my email and I'm going to click save and close so I've got uh, this intelligent agent right here I definitely want to uh, run it to see if it's actually going to do its thing so I'll click here and you can do a practice run but I just like to do a real run and I'll click done here so it's not finished yet, okay? You'll see uh, results of last run and last run date listed here when it's uh, actually finished. And right here, we can see the symbol that shows us that uh, it's set to manually run. So it's it's in the process, it's, it's gonna do it. And in this situation, it actually did finish running and we can see it just finished uh, just a few minutes ago. And we can see that one user has been identified, okay? So if I click on one user's identified there, I can actually see which uh, which student that was. Okay, so I can go and I can check my email, and the action taken was uh, email sent. And if I open my email, I can actually see that I got this email telling me that student one Warren, that's the first name last name, has not accessed the final project module. So this is maybe a, a little tip that might be helpful as you uh, as an e-learning teacher or as a teacher as you. Uh, reach towards the end of your course if you want a little reminder that certain students may not have access to certain things. Um, you definitely don't want to rely on this only. You, you definitely want to have meetings and conversations with the student to see how they're doing and so on. But I think that this is a great little tool just to sort of help you out and help keep you on track.